Can you play the chestnut song as well, Zach? Did this in person? We reiterated it a few minutes uh, later. Now this I can email. watch. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. HB Clip Factory. Ethan, great movie. Shut up, by the way. I didn't know that these guys were planning to do an Avatar walkout. They said if I don't go give Avatar a positive review, they are going to be on strike. That's right. We took inspiration from Darman's crew. Uh, we are right. banding together to fight back against the injustice of all of this unwarranted <laughs> Avatar hate. Oh no, the Darman. Fuck, I wanted to talk about Darman. I guess we can do the this real Darman. fast. I still, I, Man. I have till 4.30 if I want to get home at a normal time. So we I mean, can we can just hit it real quick right now. We don't have to spend a Why do you do Darman like Starman? Because it just made me think of the song, Starman. Darman, Dar Dar underpaying your employees. So, Darman, I don't watch his videos. I know that they're, apparently some people like them, I don't know who, they're like, painfully corny. Like, uh, obvious lessons, I don't know who this shit is helping. Am I right? Yeah, they're always 17 like, million? He's huge. Like I mean, the one everybody's throwing examples of is there was one that was like, the boss was terrible to his employee, <laughs> and look what happened, and it's always like, you know, somebody being mean or bullying somebody, and then they get taught a, a lesson. But it's always, you know, it, it, they always come together in the end, and they realize that they were wrong about what they were doing. And but he's all, kind, he, he presents himself like the moral compass of the whole fucking world, right? He's like inspirational. Everything is inspirational. Life lesson. Mm -hmm. I don't know who's... Dude, these get so many views, and I just don't fucking get it at all. At all. Has to be Facebook. But well, these are views on YouTube. Massive yeah, on Facebook. But yeah, I think they come over after seeing them on Facebook. Dude, these have these all have like three million, four million views. And yeah. it reminds me of like think? Mento. You remember Mentos commercials from like the early two <laughs> thousand? Sure, yeah. His videos are that. <laughs> those are snappy. At least these are they're like they're all got all like all long too. Is Part of the problem with these. You remember when Trisha was doing like weird Darman videos for a minute? <laughs> I sure do. That was fucking wild, dude. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna sh I just want to skip to the lesson. And somebody Looks said like it's for children, and yeah, it really it it is it just kids watching it because it doesn't seem geared boring. towards kids. Is the weird thing, but like what kid would the level of like lesson that's being taught is like what you would show to like elementary school kids to like teach them something. Dude, I would not want to watch this. I, it's like, it's so boring. Yeah. He and preachy. You. Be quiet. Oh, whoops. Jamie Preston, I saw that. You're in big trouble, young man. Not sure what the lesson was there. <sighs> Missed the lesson on that one, eh? Maybe that, that was just a teaser for the next edition, perhaps. Boy rejected in front of school. Anyway, uh, you guys know what Darman is. Now, I'll preface this by saying my brother-in-law does, um, he's a high school teacher, and he does one-on-one, -on -one, like, special... I don't know what it is, but he does one-on-one -on -one with, with students. It's some, some kind of special program. And he was telling me, like, a month ago, that one of his kids works for Darman, and he was shocked by when, what this kid told him about his working conditions. This Ooh. was a month ago, firsthand. Oh. And I was like, wow, that sounds crazy. He was, the kid said that, like, um, he has to drive super far. He pays for his own transportation. He pays a minimum wage. There's no, like, support for him being, like, an underage. He's under 18. And basically, like, um, he only does it because he thinks it's like an opportunity, but he basically almost loses money going there and coming back, paying for his transportation. Wait, it's for English? It's for people to learn English? I saw a few people in the chat saying that uh, that's why like the dialogue is so like slow and kind of like simplistic or whatever. I kind of believe that. I don't know if that was the original intent, but I could definitely see that being used for that, you know? I would love to see the geographical breakdown then. Yeah, well, but yeah, know. the kid was the kid. My brother-in-law was like shocked that 
this huge YouTuber was just paying, and and this was a child. This this kid was under eighteen. He was in high school, and um, it sounded really bad, right? And uh, well, it comes out that apparently a lot of his employees have been feeling the same way. According to actors, Darman hasn't been paying them enough money even to pay rent and treats them with disrespect. At this actor, Colin Borden, put out a TikTok wow. calling out what the Darman. Wow, this got a lot of views. It has 500,000 likes. What the heck is going on? <coughs> hey, Colin A. Borden here. Uh, I don't normally like to uh, do serious things anywhere um but especially here on social media because i think it's a rather frivolous sort of thing and as an actor a writer director i just think of myself as an entertainer and i like to do entertaining things even if that's me pretending to think that i'm gonna die because i ate unwashed pepper get on with it bro anyways what you got to say <laughs> <laughs> But now I am going to talk about something a little serious because, uh, you know, if you've been following my page or other people's pages from the show that I'm on, you probably know that some stuff is going down. So I want to give a little bit of an explanation about it. Essentially, as an actor at Darman Studios, I am just a contract player. I have no employment there. I am just sort of called every now and then, as are all the other actors. And it just is not sustainable. Um, and there are a lot of issues at hand here, but uh, one of the main issues is that not a single actor that works at Diamond Studios can afford rent. This is a show that has millions of views across multiple social media platforms. Um, videos are shot, edited, posted, repackaged as new videos, reposted in other places over and over and over and over and over again racking in millions of views, ad revenue, all this sort of stuff. The studio has continued to expand for some time, my entire tenure there. When I first started, we shot everything, as I've told you guys on lives and things like that. We shot everything in an apartment building downtown, in an apartment, not even the building. Occasionally, we would go to the garage of that building, but uh, it was really just all in one apartment. And now there are three sound stages in Burbank, but things haven't really gotten better for us and again i don't want to go into specifics because it's a uh, kind of a big thing and it's really just you between don't go us. into specifics you better uh, start because this people is should like be aware three minutes of left. why we are protesting why we are out there i won't let me zoom okay there right now we've been talking to a lot of actors um it's the same everybody feels the same across the board the trouble is uh there's a culture at the studio of if you talk you're out. So we decided to come together as a group and talk collectively with <coughs> our boss, Darman. We sent a letter to him, uh, a hard copy and an email. The email was CC'd to the head of production as well so that we made sure that Dar got it, but it was addressed to Dar. Um, it was delivered to Dar. That letter was forwarded to the HR department which we are not employees of Darman Studios. We are contract players. Uh, so exactly what we have to do with HR, we're not entirely sure. But it was forwarded over I think there. I know what this needs. We were contacted. I know what... We, it, what? I think, I think I know what this needs. There's no cry more. No, no, no. I mean, that's, that's fine too, but... But Dan is absolutely correct. Maybe you could just, like, overlay this somehow. <laughs> this shit is boring as fuck. <laughs> Bro, can I get some kinetic sand? Oh, cool. There's a guy chasing sure. him. I didn't know about that. So I'm thinking, Ian, maybe you could just like meeting. real quickly put this on um, the to side. To discuss the... our issues. Yeah, I'll play that it. meeting was pushed several times, changed on us. I got you guys. Uh, when we finally got That's so meeting, cool. When did they add the security guard? We had reiterated that we wanted it to be with Dar. Dar was not there. Was and that always said, there? Well, yeah, if you, have the if you almost, uh, so you like if you mess up, the then he comes closer. The head oh, of HR. I haven't That's played Subway Surfer in a while. I just like to watch so Everybody's on the same page, but our meeting is with our boss, the person who signs our contracts, Darman. Thank you very much. Please get back to us um, with a time for the next meeting by next Tuesday. Just a time for the meeting, not necessarily the next meeting. Can you play the Tuesday. Chestnut He's song as well, Zach? Did this in person. We reiterated it a few minutes uh, later. Now this I can email. watch. Uh, we checked back in. Uh, 
following a couple days. Now this is good. Again, like it's on so soap. Hitting every lobe coming. of my brain. This is our boss. This is who we want to talk to. Every week comes and goes. And on Saturday, there will not be a meeting. Meanwhile, a lot of our stuff is happening in the studio. Um, some of our great stuff. Uh, whether it's connected or not. He's day, still talking? Because no one's talking to us. Wait, I thought he so wrapped this shit up like a minute ago. Right Jesus Christ. <laughs> Wait, uh, that didn't, didn't he? Okay, we all right. Explicitly that there will not be any meetings and that any issues Ooh, that we have look at the kinetic sand. And it's forwarded to HR. Um, and that's just not acceptable. What are you that's saying? Okay, right now. Now. The I wonder how did they get it work? so... That oh, I, I see. It's coming out of the done, top. Oh, in. nice. I'm incredibly proud of that's I've good. Built that's an incredible good. community over there. Uh, oh, Beach Sounds? That's chilling me out. Bands. Uh, there's no denying that our man is in my obituary, <laughs> whether I go tomorrow or He's and, still uh, talking? Did he say obituary? Or whatever. It's I don't know, I can't I, hear. I've loved my time at Dar Man, and it has so much of that has to do with people. Oh, like that you, sand is so good. This little video right now, so thank you to you. Um, thank you for being a supporting fan. Thank you for uh, just for hearing that brown noise. Thank you for just being I like the knife. I love the knife. Built. Whale noise. Now, the goal Ooh. is to keep going. Um, oh, to have no. a conversation with Dar is to keep working at Dar Man Studios. It's the food good. I, I can't look at that. <laughs> I'm talking to the whales like Avatar. <laughs> <laughs> Sincerely, thank you very much for all the time. Anyway, you're welcome, bud. Well, thank you for you're sharing welcome. your story. <laughs> Workers of the world unite. But can I? So I watched that whole video last night. Can I, you, would you like me to give? Uh, sure, I just a, watched a short... it. Go ahead. <laughs> He's been working on these Darman videos for years. It started out as a small studio. Over time, it's become massively successful. It gets like billions of views all the time. And they've expanded into a giant facility over in Burbank. They have three sound stages, he said. Mm -hmm. And uh, over the course of their massive success, they have not raised what they paid the actors at all in that entire time. And so the actors approached him to ask uh, collectively if they could get a raise because they are not being paid a living wage. Uh, they at first gave them a meeting, but Darman refused to attend. They asked for another meeting and said, we're not going to talk with anybody unless he's here. They said, okay, sure, we'll schedule that. And then instead they were informed their services, well, that, that meeting is not going to happen. That's scummy, dude. Darman, it's just like, dude, you make inspirational videos. Don't be a scumbag. Yeah. Yeah, that's the long the part. Of the it. real issue here is the same. It's like employment on YouTube actors. Mm -hmm. are, it's not regulated. There's oh. an actor's guild. There's a, there's a union for this that, that regulates because... It's so easy to exploit these workers, and it sounds like that's exactly what he's doing. And, you know, it really just underlies a need for some kind of regulation or unions for child actors and actors like and Darman's bullshit. I guess it should be said, SAG uh, does have a digital contract for, like, for content on YouTube and stuff, but I, I think it's barely ever used. Um, uh, but for something on the scale of what they're doing, where, again, because um, they were all outside protesting, I saw where it is. I mean, it's right in the heart of Burbank, giant facility, Here, like bigger the... bigger building than we have. Here's the problem. Uh, with really nice sound stages and everything. It, it's clearly, it's a high-level production they're running over oh, there. Oh, yeah, it looks super high-end yeah. uh, quality. Um, so there's a lot of people there, actually. Yeah, so I think they're they're well within their right to their demand um, to be so at least paid. And I don't know that he live. said what he was being paid, but again, my... He didn't mention it, no. My brother-in-law, he lives in Camarillo, so this kid drives all the way to L.A. That's a ways. And he pays him, like, uh, less than 100 bucks for a day's rate. Yeah, that's outrageous. That's outrageous. <laughs> so, it's just greedy. It's, like, needlessly greedy. Because the dude makes so much money. I mean, he'd have to. Shit, we pay people, like, a f way more than that just for, like... For little gags, yeah, like when we gags. bring in like bit players on the podcast and stuff, we pay significantly more than that. I wouldn't even pay someone a hundred bucks even for a gag. It's almost like insulting. It's not worth their less time. than minimum wage. I mean, usually, I, I guess it just depends on how long of a day it is, but it's not. 
it's not at all unusual for an actor to need to be on set for 10, 12 hours. That's it. That was the other part. He did super long days. It was 10, 12 hours. Which is standard. And he would pay him $100. Yeah, that's not standard. <laughs> that part's not standard. Yeah, having r- extremely long shooting days is very, very common in Hollywood, but um, but paying them that little, is that's outrageous. And so. apparently also was on like weekdays, so the kid was missing school because he thought it was this great opportunity. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, it sounds like he was totally fine. Yeah, they up. need to pony up. That's absurd. And yeah, I mean, we know, uh, we've, I, we don't know firsthand, but we heard from other people that the um, the money on Facebook compared to oh, YouTube is Look like up his page. Let's see what he's, what he's doing. Yeah, I th- I'm pretty sure he's huge on Facebook. Did we mention today yet that I donated $10,001? No. Also, I had a question. Have you ever smoked crack cocaine before? Yes. <laughs> and also, I've, I've both smoked crack cocaine. Cracker! Hi, my name's Ethan Klein. I <laughs> smoked crack one time. <laughs> also, I donated $10,001 yesterday to a relief fund for the horrible earthquakes that affected all of our brothers and sisters out there in the Middle East. Wishing them all the best. This is Ethan. Smoked crack one time Klein. (laughs) Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, Darman has 29 million followers on Facebook. So can you pull, can you pull up some, like, the views on that kind of stuff? Yeah, let me, um, see. I mean, they're posting so much, so, like, there's there's a bunch of videos posted just within the last few yeah, hours. He, but let me go back a couple days and see. But yeah, the, when like partner channels like him, they're, I'm sure he's making like crazy money. Yeah. Um, does Facebook not show you views? That been, you gotta click on it, the... He has, I'm looking at his recent, five hours ago he posted, hot girls use these nice guys live to regret it. 16.9 <coughs> million views. Holy fuck. From how many hours ago? Five. <laughs> Darman can afford to pay more than hundred dollars a day to your actors. Dude, you're such a greedy actors. piece of shit. Like, that's insane. Like, holy fuck! Like, you could pay them two fifty, and that's still on the low end for a full day's work. That's, but like, uh, yeah, like all of the videos that he's posted within the last day. Like, let me see what scale seen. is for the digital contract. Like, basically, the the lowest you're allowed to pay. How much do we pay out. people for a day rate usually when they just come in and fuck around? It's like, well, I'm gonna look it up I right now. Good. Like, there, there's, there's official rulings on this from the actors union dude so this guy's a piece of shit scale digital content 16 million views what was the title of it was uh, this some the, gold digger that thing? one was hot girls use these nice guys live to regret it dude he's doing incel shit yeah he's doing <laughs> red pill content on facebook <laughs> sounds like it well that's what makes the money right how does he have a million views on this one? He uploaded an hour ago in 15 comments. That's crazy. Oh, that is sus. Maybe the comment that's section is locked or something. Million. I'm sorry, oh, 11 million views. Wait, he's probably getting shit on, on comments right now, so he's probably just locked it down, eh? No, they're still open. This is a hell of a title. Poor girl adopted by billionaires. What happens next is shocking. Okay. What hap- what so sh- what happens? It's shocking. Sounds bad. Yeah, so this is pretty interesting. Darman. Do you actually here? Let me go back and listen to this guy's um, story. Kind of the big thing, and it's really just between us. This and was pretty compelling. Are... You probably know that some stuff is going down, so I want to give a little bit of an I didn't give him a fair shake. I, I want to listen as an this actor, time for real. At Darman Studios, I am just a contract player. I have no employment there. I am just sort of called every now and mm-hmm. then, as are all the other actors. Right. And it just is not sustainable. Um, And there are a lot of issues at hand here, but uh, one of the main issues is that not a single actor that works at Diamond Studios can afford rent. This is a show that has millions of views across multiple social media platforms. Um, Videos are shot, edited, posted, repackaged as new videos, reposted in other places over and over and over and over and over again. Okay. Racking in millions of views, ad revenue, all the sorts. 
The studio has continued to expand for some time, my entire tenure there. When I first started, we shot everything, as I've told you guys, on lives and things like that. We shot everything in an apartment building downtown, in an apartment, not even a building. Occasionally, we would go to the garage of that building. Dan, are you reading this part? Uh, uh, no, sorry, I was looking up the, uh, the SAG rates. Oh. I need your help. It's really just all in one. Oh, do you need? Uh, I know what you need. And now there are three sound stages. <laughs> I know exactly what you things. need. Okay, hold on. Stop. Stop. Everybody, stop. Okay. Let me try stop. this joke again. Okay. You know what? I didn't give this guy a fair shake. Uh, I feel like let's go back and and give it a good watch and hear what he has to say. No actor that works at Diamond Studios can afford rent. This is a show that has millions of views across multiple social media platforms. Um, videos are. Shot, edited, posted, repackaged as new videos, reposted in other places over and over and over and over and over again. Racking in millions okay, of views, I'm added, you, all the sorts. The studio has continued to expand for some time, my entire tenure there. When I first started, we shot everything, as I've told you guys, on lives and things like okay. that. We shot everything in an apartment building downtown, in an apartment, not even a building. Right. Occasionally, we would go to the garage of that building, but uh, it was really just all in one apartment. And now there are three sound stages in Burbank, but things haven't I guess really I, I know what you mean. I, know, I, 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 know I what see what you said. Again, I don't yeah, want to yeah. go It's messed up. It's uh, kind of a big thing, and it's really just between us. Uh, but I think that people should be aware of why Let's get a new job. we are protesting, why we are out there right now. We've been talking to a lot of actors. Um, it's the same, everybody feels the same across the board. The trouble is, uh, we were never in a, a relationship, uh, but in, I guess, a situation. So we decided to come together. Wait, hold on, hold on, that's all right. Jay Sh Darman has a show with Jay Shetty. We sent a letter no to him. No, whoa, under, dude. Uh, stop everything. A hard copy and an email. The email was CC'd to the head of production as well, so right, we made sure continue. that Dar got it, but it was addressed to Dar. Um, it was delivered to Dar. Okay. So so they, right, they want to get Dara in the video. We are not employees of Darman Studios. We are contract players. Uh, so exactly what we have to do with HR, we're not entirely sure. But it was forwarded over there. We were contacted, said we could have a meeting um, to discuss our issues. That meeting was pushed several times, changed on us. Okay. Uh, when we finally I got to the meeting, we had reiterated that we were to be with Dara. Dara was not there. And we said, no. Oh, I'm 